Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Shendrika from TS Info Technologies. Today in this video tutorial, I will going to explain you how to rename a SharePoint document library file by using the Power Automate flow. So let's discuss about this topic and quickly log into the Power Automate homepage. To open the Power Automate homepage, type make.powerautomate.com in the browser so that it will automatically navigate to your Power Automate homepage if you have already logged in with your Microsoft credentials. See here, it is logging in. It will take some time. Until that, I will explain my SharePoint document library. This is the document library I was taking here. And uh, in this library, there are folders as well as files. So let's rename one of the file here. I'm going to take uh, Power BI backup file. Uh, I will rename. I will rename this file. Uh, see here, the Power Automate homepage has been opened. And let's create a manually trigger flow here. Click on create and select instant cloud flow and select manually trigger a flow button and click on create. Here, the flow trigger has been added. And let's take a text input as title to provide a name for a file. After that, get file metadata. Take get file metadata here. And in the site address, select the site address and uh, select site address and the file identifier. I will be taking the site address as finance department and the file identifier. Select it from the open folder. These are the document. This is the document library I was taking. Backup document documents of training. And in the backup documents of training, this is the file Power BI backup. After that, take get file content flow action so that the get file content flow action will retrieve all the content which is present in that file. Select the parameters of site address and file identifier from the open folder. This is the file we have selected. Uh, we have to rename this file. For renaming a file, uh, there is no separate flow action is available. So we have to create a copy file. And after that, we have to delete the previous file. So let's create a copy file. Let's copy a file, create file, take create file, take the site address. In the folder path, select the path of the document and provide the name here file name from the dynamic content that we have already taken as a title in the manually trigger flow and after that the file content from the get file content flow action now this file create a file will create a copy file after that we have to delete that previous file take delete delete file flow action select the site address and uh, file fold and in the file identifier take the id from the dynamic content that we have taken from the get file metadata now save the flow now we have created the flow and save the flow and test it manually and in the run flow window you can provide a name for that particular file that you have to rename uh, click on save and test it click on test select manually click on test continue here you can provide the file name i will be providing here power bi document click run flow click on done you can see the flow ran successfully and, and when you go back to the sharepoint document library you can see here uh, the file has been renamed to power bi document now let's discuss how to rename a SharePoint document library folder by using Power Automate REST API. Here uh, I have taken a different document library that is course documents. There are a list of files and folders here. So I will take the first folder here, Django course module. I wanted to rename this folder. So let's create a Power Automate flow for this. I have already created the Power Automate flow. Uh, it is a simple flow. So I have created uh, as before and I have taken a manually trigger flow and uh, after that take send an http request to sharepoint flow action and in the send an http request provide the parameters like site address and uh, take method as post method and in the uri take this uri i will provide this in the description box in the uri uh, you have to only replace uh, this get by title name after that in the items in this number you have to provide the id here here this is the course name this is the id 
so i have taken the id here and in the course uh, take the document library name and in the body i will also provide this json code in the description box so in the field value you have to uh, take the rename value renaming value for that folder so i will take i will take it as a only django course after that save the flow and test it manually when you save and test it manually you can also sharepoint document library folder name has been changed so save and test it manually click on test and click manually and uh, select as a test click run flow now you can see the flow run successfully and when you go back to the sharepoint document library when you refresh this you can see the folder name has been changed to django course this is how to rename a files and folders if if you wanted to get or know more information about this renaming a file you can also go through the article that i will provide in the description box this is all about how to rename a file so thank you for watching the video i hope you guys like the video thank you and subscribe to our youtube channel let's see in the next video